Hi everyone, Elaine Tatum with the David Siddons Group. So what happens when you have rising mortgage rates, lightning fast sales, low inventory, and huge price gains? You get a market that can be confusing. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Fort Lauderdale real estate market and what's happening right now. Let's get inside and talk numbers. Welcome to the David Siddons Group Fort Lauderdale offices. Today we're going to be talking about the Fort Lauderdale market and what is happening. So many people say this market is red hot. We've all heard it. So what does that mean? Is the market really red hot or are more stable times ahead? We are predicting that the market will still continue to increase here in the Fort Lauderdale area. And there are three solid reasons why this is going to be the case. The first one I'd like to talk about is buyer willingness. What does this mean? As you go into certain homes, prices in the market are escalating very quickly. The buyers are still willing to make offers and make purchases on these homes. So even though we have a lack of inventory, the buyers are still doing this. What is the reason for this? A lot of articles have been written about fear of missing out or FOMO. And that means that buyers are afraid that they're going to miss out on the prime selections or they're going to miss out on a market that's currently gaining in price per square foot and they want to make sure that they can get the best price as they enter into this market. So the number one reason right now that we have for our market continuing to increase is that buyers are continuing to be willing to make these purchases. We even are seeing older inventory moving right now. Case in point, 1818 Southeast 10th in Rio Vista. This iconic structure on a point lot in Rio Vista was known by all the locals as the Fort Lauderdale White House. This home was on the market for 812 days. This home finally sold for 24 and a half million. There is a lack of inventory, so what is remaining are these prime lot locations and buyers that are seeing that they can convert these, update them, and possibly make them their own. They're not getting everything that they want because the inventories are so lacking. So let's talk about buyer willingness in a market where the inventory is lacking. Right now in the luxury market in Fort Lauderdale, there are only 129 homes available, homes and condos, in the price of one to two million. Of those, 50 of them are single family homes. As we continue on up in the two to three million dollar range, there are only 31 single family homes available in the Fort Lauderdale market. Three to five million dollar range, there's only 30 homes available, and so on. So this is a severe lack of inventory. So as agents, we are struggling with buyers that really still want what they want, but they're not able to find it. So buyers, though, are figuring it out and they're willing still to jump in at whatever the price may be and purchase these homes to make them their own. To continue our discussion on buyer willingness, Today, on the cover page of the Sun Sentinel, which is the Fort Lauderdale newspaper, it said, sales have plateaued. Well, what does that mean? If I didn't read the article and if I had just glanced at it, or knowing me, I know what's going on, I thought that doesn't make sense. Sales are not plateauing in Fort Lauderdale. What the article was related to was that year over year, the same time period, 2021 to 2022, in the last three quarters, sales have remained flat, or as the author said, stagnated. There is a reason for this. It's not from lack of pent up buyer demand. It's because there is lack of inventory. So when you have a lot of inventory, you're going to have an increase in sales. Right now, as inventory is dwindling down, we still have buyers willing to jump into this market, but it's not relating in the overall gross sales volume. It actually is slowing down because of the lack of inventory. So make sure to look into the details. 
one segment of this market though that is not sl sliding at all is the condo market. Luxury condo sales are up year over year as far as sales volume goes. There was probably some reticence jumping into the condo market after the people were locked down during the pandemic. They didn't wanna be in a condo situation, but that seems to be disappearing as more and more people looking for housing options are jumping into the luxury condo market. And my last point I'm going to make today on buyer willingness is that even though prices have escalated exponentially, which we'll talk about later on in this video, buyers sales of those current asking prices, they've closed at 95% of ask. So not much of a discount, very close to full asking price. And that's a clear indication that buyers are willing to buy in this market. So let's talk about what's up next, our number two reason. The second reason that we believe the Fort Lauderdale market is going to continue to show gains year over year and throughout the, the remainder of this year is due to builder and investor confidence in our marketplace. 38% of the homes currently available in the luxury market in Fort Lauderdale are new construction homes. This is from the year of 2019 is how I calculated this. When you have that much new construction, that means that there really is a hesitation on the part of sellers that have owned their homes for a really long time to jump in and become sellers in this market. That gap is being filled by new construction, which is greatly needed. One of our favorite new constructions that I would like to highlight right now is a $34,995,000 listing right on the New River near downtown. Not only does this new construction opportunity offer an incredible location along the New River and proximity to Las Olas Boulevard and the downtown area, it's also a beautiful new construction in a private enclave, gated community, and it has its own guest house. So if this is something that you're looking for, these types of properties are available for you. We talk about now also why um, pre-construction is so important in this market. Pre-construction is an opportunity for an investor to jump into this market, purchase something at a price already established, and then over time, in a few months or a few years, once the product is delivered, to resell it. Case in point, was a very recent sale that was closed that we had at the Four Seasons. Our buyer purchased and bought into the Four Seasons as a pre-construction product for um, $3.9 million. Once the project was open and she had closed, she flipped it back on the market and is under contract to sell for $5.5 million. So there is a lot of opportunity for investors in this market. If you're seeking an investment opportunity, we look forward to discussing that with you. Other areas are where we see great strong indicators that Fort Lauderdale is a strong market to jump into are the fact that pre-construction condos and branding are coming to our area. As I just mentioned, the Four Seasons, we also have the Ritz-Carlton residences coming to the Pompano Beach area. The Ritz-Carlton pre-construction condominiums in Pompano Beach are the fastest selling new construction development in South Florida. They are currently 97% sold and I am planning on attending their grand opening for their sales center on this Thursday. So going into the grand opening of their sales center at 97% sold, this is an unprecedented event and it shows how eager buyers and investors are to jump into this market. We also have another huge development that there is a lot of buzz about. It's the Bahia Mar redevelopment on the beach area. The Bahia Mar is coming in. They're redeveloping that area. There's going to be 350 new condominiums down there as well as 88,000 square feet of commercial space. So this area is hot, Fort Lauderdale is growing, and there is definitely builder and investor confidence in this area. Our third reason that we believe 
that Fort Lauderdale is going to continue to grow. There will be solid gains in price per square foot is that the city is putting substantial investment into the area, specifically $130 million of capital improvement is going down into the Central Beach area along the Las Olas Corridor. I was very excited to see that the new Las Olas Marina is getting ready to break ground. They've already cleared everything off. And what are you, you're asking me, Elaine, what's so exciting about the Las Olas Marina? If you have not been down there, if you have not heard, they are actually going to dredge out the current Las Olas Marina, removing all of those slips, and they're making room for mega yacht dockage. Yes, you heard me right. The super yachts are going to be coming right to the heart of Fort Lauderdale, up to 250 feet in length, these 68 slips, and as well as retail and dining uh, venues will be at the Las Olas Marina. So like I mentioned, it's already been cleared, it's getting ready to get underway, and it's also very exciting. We also have had much capital improvement from the city and the investment in the city at the War Memorial and Holiday Park. So sporting venues, the Panthers, they're building their huge practice facility as well as an open community ice rink with a beautiful structure that will also have live concert venues, dining options, and to bring a lot of excitement, again, right in the heart of the city, five minutes from downtown. So we're looking forward to the Las Olas Marina. We're looking forward to the War Memorial redevelopment. We also have the Tunnel Top Park coming in, along with many other wonderful things that are going to improve our city for the residents for the long term. A lot of our residents have often complained about the traffic throughout the city. And what is our city planning to do about that? Well, I have been one to be a little hesitant about this because I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, but it certainly is creating a lot of buzz throughout the city, the Tesla Tunnel. So if you want to find out more about these projects, take a look, look them up, but Fort Lauderdale has a lot of exciting things going on. As you know, I do love our city. I'm a huge advocate for the city, and I would like to just point out some of the things I like to tell investors, why they should put their money here and why they can feel confident that it's going to grow for them. The first is that we are located next to a world-class city. Miami is on the world stage, is known by all, and Fort Lauderdale, being the neighbor to Miami, is coming into its own as well. Many residents from Miami are actually moving to Fort Lauderdale for what li the lifestyle that we have to offer here. The other reasons why Fort Lauderdale is so fabulous is the ease of transportation. Our international airport is literally 10 minutes from downtown and for most places, 15 to 20 minutes. So when you have an international airport that has the capability of international flights to anywhere in the world, why wouldn't you select to live here in Fort Lauderdale? There are also two executive airports very close by, as well as our fabulous beachfront location. And we have a true downtown right on the shore. We have year round beautiful weather. We're a top vacation spot, not to mention all of the sports, dining and culture venues that we offer here in the city. So let's just do a quick recap of the three reasons why we believe that Fort Lauderdale is going to continue to show gains for the foreseeable future. The first is buyer willingness. The second is builder and investor confidence in our city. And the third is the city's investment in our infrastructure and planning improvements. So there you have it. Now it's time for me to leave you so that you can ponder everything that we've discussed today. Remember, it's a great time to be a seller, but it's also a great time to be an investor. And more importantly, it's still a good time to be a buyer here in Fort Lauderdale because we are predicting that prices are going to continue to go up for the foreseeable future. So this is Elaine Tatum with the David Siddons Group. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this information to be helpful for your decision making. If you're thinking about buying or selling in the Fort Lauderdale market, I hope that you'll give me a call. 
I have a gift for you. This is from the Junior League of Fort Lauderdale. It's a wonderful cookbook. And we would love to talk to you. So for all of your needs here in Fort Lauderdale, call me. For any of your other real estate needs in the South Florida marketplace, the David Siddons Group has an expert ready for your call. Thanks again. Wishing you a fabulous day.